What's up, Wildlife Family? Welcome back to a new video. On today's video, we're going to talk about how to start your own welding company with the bare minimum tools that you need. Now, let's get into the good stuff. Now, when I broke out with my welding company, I actually got lucky because I had most of these tools already. Uh, I was a rig welder for a couple of years, welder, so I already had my machine, grinders, etc. Everything that I needed to have. So today, I'll be telling you all the basic, basic, basic tools that you need to get your company started so you can make a little bit of money, maybe a little side hustle while you work your full-time job <laughs> now for those of y'all don't know how to weld and you're trying to get into the welding industry i also have a welding school out here in houston texas uh, i'll have a link in the description box below you can check me out if you're interested in the welding school i can even show you just the base things that you need which is structural welding just to make gates doors i could easily get you out in six okay, guys starting a welding business can be very expensive but the truth is that you really don't need to have all the cash to get started they got companies like click lease so what click lease does is they'll buy everything that you need and you'll pay them back in a in a lease uh, so how this works is uh, you go to the, the equipment supplier or wherever you're buying all your supplies most of these things that I'll be telling you today will be at a one supplier so you can easily just go to them uh, make a list of what you want contact quick lease and they will contact them and buy everything for you and put you in a lease good thing about using is that they provide fast funding you'll have a response within minutes approvals are instant it, it could be the same day you can easily track online on how your case is going compared to other companies you might not even hear a word it makes it real easy and convenient for you all credit scores are welcome you can choose the payment plan that you want that fits your budget no hard pull approvals up to 20,000 now my favorite thing is the tax benefits now whenever you lease equipment in most cases it may be fully deductible as a business expense find the equipment contact them if you are interested in click lease go ahead and use my link go down to the description box click on the link and it will bring you to the website where you can find more info and find other ways to contact them okay guys so this is the basic setup that you're going to need if you want to break out to have your own welding business truck was five grand machine was like uh five grand i believe i'm not too sure on that but you know it got a nice little welding bed now the good thing about having these type of machine you don't need a dually you know you need a dually if you're running a uh, sa200 like mine because they're so heavy but these aren't heavy so if you already have a pickup truck is all you need you don't have to make an investment uh to buy uh, a truck like this now if you're working out of town like in the pipeline industry you definitely uh will need to get something like uh, a 3500 like my uh truck right here or the uh, sa200 because you're gonna be burning rods all day by the way my tailgate was already messed up and yesterday i was backing up and i hit this now it's really messed up don't judge me i actually got this holding my tailgate down next thing you definitely need to get you some uh bottles man uh it's gonna make your job much easier uh these bottles which is the oxygen and the acetylene if i'm not mistaken uh it's about man uh, it's over 500 bucks for sure so it could get really pricey on you but everything that i'm named today you can actually go to a water supply uh and they'll have everything from water machines to tanks to leads everything you need uh another some more things that i do recommend for you to get is some 75 25 whenever you run mig uh 100 argon uh whenever you do do tig and i do suggest for you to get a small bottle of argon so it's easier to carry around uh that's what i use whenever i do certain jobs is have a little bottle with me and i leave the, leave the big one you at definitely the need to get you at least a hundred foot of lead uh baby has decided to get this truck just simply because it's a work truck you know you got all your toolboxes you can easily store a whole bunch of tools in here uh, material whatever you got this to work off of you can hide your leads right there 100 foot uh, if you have the money the orange ones are the best one to get uh, the real high quality leads that are pricey uh, a while back these were like a thousand dollars right now it's probably double that uh, but yeah you got another box over here not too bad man when you're trying to get into this business guys you want to go as cheap as possible if you don't have the funds because uh there's times where you know you're not gonna have no work there's time once you get the bottles you definitely need to get you some uh, hoses too with a cutting torch the cutting torches i believe uh not this one it's more gonna be of a handheld torch i believe these go for about 150 i do recommend for you to get some good gauges i got these uh, i think these are about 150 each or 
around 150 each or around that price. Uh, right now, what I was doing, I was beveling some pipe for my uh, students. You see we have the boots in the back, got a little bit more on the wall, but these are some of the students. If you're interested in uh, doing welding, I have small programs and they work from a week to six weeks. Even day passes is more expensive. If you do day passes, uh, it's cheaper if you do uh, at least a week or more. Definitely to get you at least 100 foot of holes when you won't be cutting. Now, if you have the funds, go ahead and get you a plasma cutter. It's going to be cheaper, it's going to be better, and you can plug up the plasma cutter to this machine right here. Uh, you can easily plug it up to that port and run that plasma cutter. It'll be cheaper because uh, to fill these up, uh, oxygen is like 25 bucks, but the acetylene is more expensive and I think that's like 70 bucks. You're gonna be spending at least $100 to fill them up each time and I'm telling you now, it goes by fast, real fast. Another reason why I told y'all that it's better to get uh, those smaller machines than my SA200 because with my SA200, I can't run no plasma. The only thing I could do is I could plug it up and uh, run grinders and uh, basic stuff that's AC, DC. With that machine, you can run everything with that generator. Okay guys, so the next thing that I do recommend for you to get, you need to get you a good MIG welder. Uh, it's cool to use stick, but when you're fabricating uh, fences, uh, roofs, uh, everything's real thin metal, uh, thin gauge metal, 16 gauge, and it's very, very difficult to weld that with stick. Uh, you can weld it, but you have to keep on pausing and now you're gonna blow it through. Uh, you definitely need to get you a good MIG welder. If you have the funds, go ahead and get you a Lincoln or a Miller uh, because you can use that for heavy duty stuff. You can run a quarter inch plate or thicker. In my channel, I use a lot of Yes welders. Now, those Yes welders are good machines. If you are interested in one, you can get 10% off by using uh, the code the well Lab. Once again, I'm gonna have everything in the description box below. These Yes welders are really good for thin metal stuff. I wouldn't use a Yes welder to weld anything that's really critical or is gonna be under a lot of stress or something that's gonna have a lot of weight on it because it's just not built for that. It's built for fences, thin metal stuff, small projects. Okay, so the next item that I do suggest for you to get is a chop saw. Chop saw is gonna make everything faster, easier. You can straight cut, you can do 45 cut. If you have that machine that I told you to get, which is either the Bobcat or this Lincoln, easily plug up a cho uh, chop saw. You can take it with you on the road uh, whenever you are doing these jobs. Once again, I cannot plug that up to my SA200 because it would just not run, it will burn up. Okay guys, so that's basically all you need for your rig besides your smaller tools, uh, like tapes, squares, stinger. Also, you wanna get you a good TIG rig. By the way, this is our TIG rig. This is Snake Belly's TIG rig. I sell that on my website. It's a 250 to 300 amp TIG rig. Works fantastic. What makes this TIG rig unique is that it has the insulated neck. It's heat resistant. Uh, this little red thing that you see right there uh, protects it from getting so hot. So for those of y'all who like to freehand or do roots, you can easily put your hand on it. You can easily do a root without a glove, which I don't recommend for you to do. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope I educated you uh, starting your welding business. Like I said, ever since I started my journey, I'm having tons and tons of emails of people trying to uh, uh, have their own welding business. I'm always getting question asked. Like I said, if you want to book me for a consultation, easily go to my website and set up an appointment. We can do some Zoom, FaceTime, or just chat on the phone with any questions that you have. I'll be more than happy to help you. But I appreciate y'all rock with me. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.